Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a really fun fragrance haul for you. Um, but first, I just want to apologize about my appearance. I am having a makeup free day. I'm just kind of letting my skin breathe and it's also a not a wash day. So my hair is just in a messy bun uh, up. And uh, yeah, but I really did want to film this um, video for you guys um, and share kind of some fragrances that I picked up recently. Um, two like more notable fragrances that I'm going to get to um, kind of at the closer to the end of the video are these two. So if you're interested in these two, please stay tuned. But otherwise, I do have some other fragrances, um, some more affordable options to share with you um, before we get to these guys. I am really excited to share my thoughts about these two fragrances, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so first fragrance. Um, I actually picked up these two from Victoria's Secret. These are from the Crystal Collection. So I've been seeing so many people's videos about this Crystal Collection and how it's like one of the most amazing collections um that Victoria's Secret has released um so this um I don't think they have it out but um my a, a store I went to in particular was having a sale on um the fragrance mist I forget how much they were I want to say they were like eight or nine dollars which is pretty good I know it was under ten maybe ten I'm not sure but um, they only had these two left. Otherwise, I would have grabbed all of the ones in the collection. But um, from what I've seen in terms of reviews, these are like two of the better ones anyway. So I'm so excited to share and smell and, you know, all that good stuff with you guys here. So we have Pure Seduction Crystal and Velvet Petals Crystal, which look very similar, the packaging. I don't know if the other ones kind of look like this too, but they're all just like kind of pink and crystal-y. Um, this one I believe is the original cap and this one didn't have, like this one looks like it was like from something else. So yeah. So let's start with Pure um, Seduction Crystal. Um, where am I? Where am I gonna be spraying everything here with you guys today? Um, let's just start, I guess let's start with the wrists then. So this baby right here is, oh my God. This one smells so good. It's, it's a hard scent to describe. It almost smells like some sort of a melony fruit, um, but it also has this like creaminess about it, um, which almost gives it like a, like a warm vibe. It smells warm, definitely. Um, okay, let's talk about the notes. So this has notes of ruby pear and violet orchid. Um, but this is so beautiful. Like I totally get all the good reviews about this because it's vibrant, um, radiant, creamy, like I said, like creamy just comes to mind when I smell this. Um, and this, this is just perfection. Like really, this is one of the best mists that Victoria's Secret has released. Um, this is like straight up like a fruity candy, but like in a really good way, like not in a bad way at all. And um, I feel like this is probably the best version of Pure Seduction that they've released. Like it definitely still has that Pure Seduction DNA, but like this is so much better. This is so much better. So if you can get your hands on this one, the Pure Seduction Crystal, my God, this is so good. I'm so glad I found this. Okay. Moving right along to Velvet Petals Crystal. I like this bottle more and I don't know if it's the cap. Hold on, let's switch them and see if I like Velvet Petals still more. Oh, I still like Velvet Petals more. So I will keep the cap on it. Yeah. So this is Velvet Petals Crystal. We'll spray that on the other wrist. 
Okay. Okay, we'll let this settle down and we'll talk about the notes. So the notes in this are opulent, jasmine, prismatic, berries. And then they talk about like beans and crystals and I don't know if that's a note, so I'm not gonna talk about that. But, um, but this is kind of giving a low key floral berries and cream kind of a vibe, but it's like everything. Oh my goodness. This is, it's the red berries. You can definitely smell, but it's got that sophisticated floral, which I guess is the jasmine. It's also a little bit powdery, but it's just so unique, this one. It's beautiful and feminine, sweet, yet fresh. The other one was warmer. This one is fresher and floral, obviously. It's just so pretty. And this is giving me springtime vibes, like definitely, but also like every day, like for sure you could wear this every day. Oh, lovely. This is so pretty and I just love it. Honestly, I think I like this one even more because I'm more of that floral kind of like um, feminine kind of a fragrance. This is definitely sweet like candy, but it's nice. This one is great. But this one, I think I like this one even more. Yes, I like the, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. These really, the best releases for me that Victoria's, and I'm so glad I found these two in particular. Perfect. Okay, moving right along to another fragrance that blew me away. Um, and it took me this long to come across this one only because I never smelt it in the perfume version, only the mist. And I have to say the mist and the perfume are very different. So definitely check out the perfume when you can. And it's not always available. So the fragrance that I'm talking about is none other than Japanese Cherry Blossom from Bath & Body Works. Guys, this, okay. Like, let's just smell it and talk about it because love it. Okay, this one, where are we going to spray? We're going to go here. This is a woody, powdery, warm fragrance. Very much like, it's like powdery like the last one I just talked about and warm like the first one. Yet this is much woodier than the first two fragrances I talked about. The notes in this are pear, rose, rice, and sandalwood. This one reminds me quite a bit of, and I don't think this is a very popular fragrance, but it's giving me the vibes of um, Valentino's Donna Aqua. And I think it is the pear and probably the sandalwood in this. The pear at the beginning of this is really super juicy. And I really love that. Um, and the sandalwood, it comes through as well, but it doesn't have that smokiness that a lot of sandalwood fragrances have um it's not overly sweet for sure it's not a sweet fragrance i would not say so and it's not cloying at all but um i feel like this in comparison to the donna aqua this one is a little younger um i would say and if you like kind of like fresh and sweet uncomplicated florals then this one would be a good one for you. So definitely check Japanese. If you just have not really liked the body mist, try the perfume out. Cause I feel like this one might surprise you cause it really did surprise me. And I really like this. So that is Japanese cherry blossom. Okay, moving on to the next fragrance that I showed you at the beginning. This is Gucci Memoir d'un Odeur. I just call it Gucci Memoir. I, first of all, let's talk about this bottle. Gorgeous. Is this bottle not the most gorgeous bottle you've ever seen? I love it so much. Okay. So this one, where are we going to spray this one? I guess we'll do it over here. Oh, and the cap is nice and weighty. I love that in a cap. Just makes it feel more expensive, you know? Okay. 
So this is an herbal fragrance, like right off the top before it settles or anything. It just smells very herbal. It's got a woodiness to it. And then some florals start coming through. So the notes in this are chamomile, almond, musk, and sandalwood. Now this is not the same per se, but it definitely is giving me um, like similar vibes to from Maison Margiela, um, Replica Flying, if you've ever smelled that before. Um, I think it's probably like the almond and the musk in here that's kind of giving me those vibes, but this smells like a very pleasant hand soap from like a fancy bathroom and maybe it's like the way the bottle looks like that's kind of how I think of it as well um oddly I really like this even though it's a little herbal I'm not really the biggest fan of herbal fragrances but I do really like this and I could see this as a being like a good scent for when you're like lounging around the house like in your sweats because it's just very casual and clean and I feel like this wouldn't irritate anybody. It's got like a, a calming a calming effect about it. And that's probably, I'm going to guess the like chamomile in this. But also the almond is coming out pretty strong now that it's drying down. Um, yeah, so if you like those kind of scents, I think you're going to really like this. This is definitely a lot more unique than anything I've smelled recently so i really like that so that's gucci memoir last but not least is versace dylan blue pour femme so first of all i love this packaging i'm gonna be keeping this box even though i usually don't keep boxes because when things come on this like pedestal type of a box i just adore it because i feel like the you know the fragrance can just stand on this cute little box and just have its little home without you having to kind of take it out of the box all the time. But that being said, I have a, a little bit of a story about this. So I've been kind of on this kick where I've been getting like travel size fragrances. So I actually initially got the, um, the travel spray of this Dylan Blue and like I wore this as my scent of the day one day and I pretty much knew after that morning that I was just going to get the full bottle because I was like I like this fragrance so much I'm going to I'm going to run out of the travel spray and then I'm going to really regret it. So I went and got the bigger bottle, not a big huge bottle, just a 30 milliliter bottle because I didn't want to waste my travel spray because I did want to have this in my purse for when I needed to spray. So I'm not going to spray, spray the travel spray. I'm going to go ahead and spray the bottle because oh, this bottle too, gorgeous. Like this bottle, oh my God, even if you don't like this fragrance, look at this. Is this not the most gorgeous i wish they had almost done something more fun for the travel spray because look look how boring this travel spray is i mean these days people are doing so many fun things with travel spray so that one kind of let me down but that's fine but look at this bottle like i almost wouldn't even mind traveling with this because this is a smaller bottle but then it's so beautiful that it needs to sit on its little beautiful stand look at this gorgeous okay so we'll go ahead and spray that and then we'll talk about that. I guess we're spraying it here. Oh, goodness. Sorry. My back is, I'm having some issues with my back today. Okay. So this is a fruity, very fruity, floral. It also has like a green aspect to it. This um, Dylan Blue Parfum. The notes in this fragrance are Granny Smith Apple, Peach, and Musk. This honestly smells like a whole bunch of my favorite fragrances all mixed together. This smells like J'adore. It smells like Ralph by Ralph Lauren. It smells like even, um, I don't even know, is it just called Paris by Paris Hilton or Paris Hilton Signature? I have no idea. It's the one with the, um, it's got like a fuchsia bottle with like, almost looks like zebra stripes or something. I wore that when I was in university. It was one of my signature fragrances. 
at one point I wore the crap out of that. It also smells like um, KKW Emerald Diamond, which I reviewed on my channel not too long ago. Honestly, I love all those fragrances and this really smells like a mix of all those fragrances. So it, in that case, I really love it. Um, I know some people might not be into that, but I think this is great. Um, like, I feel like this would be perfect for any occasion. Um, for me personally, it would be like signature worthy because it really smells like pretty much everything I like in a fragrance. This, like all my favorite fragrances, this is like in a, in a bottle, like a summary of those. Um, this smells like freshly washed and freshly blow dried hair that's still warm. If you, if you kind of, oh, yeah, that's what it smells like. Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. Oh, yes. I mean, people say this smells very shampooy, and I agree, but it smells like a very expensive shampoo. And I love the smell of like really good expensive shampoo. Who wouldn't want to perfume that or like put that in a bottle, bottle it as a perfume, you know? So I think this is great. Um, I know reviews on this are mixed. Maybe people think this is generic or anything like that, but. I love this and I feel like this would be a really good compliment getter and now I have a travel spray to go along with that. So I'm really happy with this. So guys, that was um, everything I picked up in this haul. Um, a lot of like fragrances, I feel like this is quite unique, but it's also quite casual. Like I feel like that is the theme of today's video is like fun, casual fragrances that you can just wear that won't like offend anybody that just smell nice you know sometimes that's all you want to smell like so anyways guys thanks so much for share sharing thanks for so much for watching please share and also if you have a fragrance that you want to comment down below about like inoffensive like fun fragrances like sometimes you just want to smell good you know please comment down down below and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching